All right, guys, this video, we're talking about relays. Um, I actually did do this video once, and uh, one of you guys actually let me know that I had something wrong, so I'm redoing the video. Um, you were 100% correct. That was a error on my point, at my, and my, it was my fault. Now, what it was, was I actually had, so on your terminals on your relay, I had these backwards. This is supposed to be normally open. This is supposed to be normally closed. I had those two backwards. Um, and that's actually something else. This should be, this is 87A on the actual relay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Oh yeah, you can see in there. So you can see how they're marked. The 87A is this one right here. You just can't see it because they've sealed it so that you can kind of see it in there a little bit. But anyways, um, that's not what we're, and we need to talk about anyway. So let's get into this. So how to wire a relay? really really simple this is a five pole relay <clears throat> so super easy this is the relay you're working with this one is your power you want to have this as your power from battery you do want to put a um, fuse on it make sure you put a fuse so this is going to be power from battery now if you want something to have power when the relay is not energized this one would be the one you would want to hook up 90 95% of things are not going to be hooked up that way so you can just disregard this terminal but if you wanted something that's on without the coil ignited then that's the, you would want this so maybe to shut something off that type of thing is what you would use that for so if you want just a normal relay for wiring up let's say um, a light a fan something like that this is going to be your power wire so your power is gonna be from your battery here. When the solenoid latches, then this is gonna have power on it. But you do wanna make sure that this is fused. It doesn't need to be fused on this side, unless you really want to. You don't need to double fuse it, but I would always fuse it prior to your relay in case you have a problem with the relay. Now, so this is going to be power. This is gonna be go to your accessory, let's say a light. And then these ones, now it doesn't matter which one of these is which. Some people will argue with you, but it does not matter. So this can be a ground, this can be a power, or vice versa. But you'll need to go to chassis ground or battery ground, usually chassis ground because you're not right beside the battery. And then this is how you're going to turn it on and off. So if you want to turn it, you need to have a, a power signal. So you need to have power going to this to turn it on and off. So you would have in your vehicle, you're going to have you know, a switch to turn your lights on or whatever it may be, or maybe your ignition switch turns it on if it's for a fuel pump, or you're gonna have your um, thermal switch from your uh, engine temperature for your, your um, engine also. Now, a lot of thermal switches, just to talk about that for a second, a lot of thermal switches are ground. So when the thermal switches actually turn on, it's gonna do ground. So if that's the case, this needs to be keyed power, if, unless you want it to turn on whenever. I personally would hook it to key power, let's say. And then your ground from your switch is gonna go to this. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I don't really want it. This video doesn't really need to be very long. Relays are very, very simple. Uh, but one thing I did wanna show is I wanted to show how a relay works quick. I have one. But these things are really, really very simple. So there's a coil in, inside here. And when you energize these two poles, so a ground on one side, power on the other, all it does, if you look inside there for that contact, it just snaps that contact over. So there's just a pair of contacts in here. So when it's over this way, th well, this is a four, a four pole, not a five pole, but pretend it's a five pole. So there'd be another terminal inside here like this one, right? Basically when it's over in this position, then this, the power go would go from here, but you can actually see the tab is actually still there. They just don't put a, a, a thing on it, but the power will go from here to this pole and then if you energize it then it shuts it off and then if you energize it now as you would use a four pole you'd have to use this as a four pole you would energize the coil so the power would be here and then it locks it together and then your power here but all of that power runs literally runs through this little piece right here all of the power runs through in here so it literally just snaps it over and holds it and then the power goes from being you know here or going from here to here and it literally runs up so here's your the power wire going in and you can follow it around 
it goes to this wire and comes up into this plate. And then when the contact moves over, it touches into there, which comes across and then goes to this. Very, very simple. Literally, it's just a little coil inside here and it snaps open and closed, open and closed. So that's literally all it does. Super, super simple. A lot of people think relays are complicated. They are very, very simple. So anyways, hopefully that helps the guy out. Like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments, and remember, it's not rocket science.